Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning. If you're only just joining us, uh, thank you so much for tuning in to Y254 TV, your number one youth station. Now, my name is Ram Aguko. It is a pleasure being with you on this fine Monday morning. And of course, today we want to, fo to, to focus on matters concerning youth and politics, what has been taking center stage in the past few days, and uh, what youths are saying in regards to matters concerning the nation. Now, today I'm joined by aspirants who are are vying for different parliamentary uh, seats. You can see them on your screen. Next to me, Moses Gashira, vying for parliamentary seat at Madari. Indeed. And of course, uh, to my far right, I am with uh, Elijah Oenga, also vying for parliamentary seat, but in Dagoreti North. Dagoreti North, you're Karib right. Karibu sana. Asante. Thank you so much for finding time, gentlemen. And of course, uh, we value your feedback from home. Let us know where you're watching us from. The hashtag, as always, is why in the morning at Ram Aguko is my handle and the official station handle is at Y254. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming this show live through our website and that's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Watch us on the go from wherever you are. And gentlemen, uh, let's, I want us to start as we, uh, before we get uh, much into the conversation, I want us to start with uh, where you're vying. Okay. Let's get to know a bit more about what you do. For somebody who's getting to meet you today for the first time, uh, I, I'll start with you. And of course, uh, what plans do you have for your constituents? Well, I got, uh, my name is Moses Gachira. I'm vying for my daughter's seat. I do saw the ticket. Mm -hmm. I got a, a variety of uh, ideas on how to solve issues affecting our youth in Madare. Mm -hmm. And not, not only the youth, it's everybody in the Madare. Yeah. Where there, there are issues to do with health care, there are issues to do with uh, jobs, there are issues to do with uh, water and sanitation, there are issues to do with drug menace, among others. Mm -hmm. I intend to address these issues one by one, I have a, a, layout, a lay, laid out manifesto where I have uh, elaborated my, my plans. Mm -hmm. I intend to tackle these issues. Mm -hmm. I also intend to address issues to do with corruption. And you know, corruption has been a very big issue in Kenya, mm -hmm. especially mother that uh, most of, of our resources as a consistency have been going to individual pockets. Mm. I therefore intend to tackle those issues. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, Moses, mm. le le let me get from you still. Mm. Yes, you've talked about drugs. Mm. Yeah, and, and of course, we know the issue of security is an issue in Madari. Indeed. In your constituency. Mm. Um, how are you going to handle this that is different from your other contestants, you know, that will make you stand out from the rest of the aspirants of vying for the same parliamentary seat in your constituency? I should begin by, by saying this. Mm -hmm. These issues are all intertwined. If you tackle the issue of security, which we will do within 30 days of uh, being elected into the office, because the issues of uh, security, uh, it's very much possible to do, because once we will be in the, in the office, we will be able to bring all the, the, all the stakeholders. stakeholders of the Madari constituency. Mm -hmm bring them to the table, okay. discuss these issues, okay. have them uh, to agree that we, we are working for our people. You see, in, uh, the leaders that are in power currently, they are not doing that. They are not, they, they've not been able to bring our people together. Mm -hmm. And that has been a very great, great issue. The other thing is, if we can create jobs for our youth, and how do we do that? Uh, we, we, 90% of our youth, uh, or rather our population, is in business. Mm. We will bring them into circles. These circles will be able to get money either from uh, the youth, the youth fund, or even from uh, our, our banks. All right. That one, I will assist them uh, be able to register the, those groups. Mm. And th once they, they've registered, we've improved uh, those circles. We've brought those circles into together into a particular body, then we'll be able to work closely together, may ensure that we get the, those money. All right, all Deal right. with the uh, writing. Writing is a very big issue in Madare. Once we, we are able to tackle all these issues, 
the issue of drugs will, will, be, will be gone since uh, those those youths go to drugs because there are no job of opportunities. Oh, others, uh, mm -hmm. others turn into drugs because they are not being guided properly. Guided that one will do. And you believe you will make a big change within that days? Definitely, uh, within in that days of being election of the election, I will be able to, to tackle that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's very specific. I'm really interested <laughs> in, in, in finding out more about that. But let me come to you, Elijah. Um, for somebody meeting you for the first time, let us be, know a bit more about what you do and why you. Why would you choose to vie for the parliamentary seat at uh, Dagoretti North? Uh, thank you, Ram. And I'm grateful to be here this morning uh, to catch up with the youths of Kenya, but most especially those of Dagoretti North and this great city of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Uh, my name is Elijah Oenga. I've worked with young people over many years. I've empowered so many young people. I've been a student leader, student president in my university days. And so I've been a champion for mm. the youths and for the country. Uh, you know, as a patriot, mm. you transition, but your desire for a better country remains intact. We, 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 you said student leader. Yes. Uh, let me take you back a bit a few. Uh, 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 where? That was Baratron University, but uh -huh. I was also given a chance to be the student leader for all universities in Kenya at that time. Uh -huh. We had a body. So I was at Baratron and then uh -huh. the Kenyan University Students Association 2008. Uh -huh. That's when I was a student leader for all universities. But uh -huh. that said, now I find myself in the Goretti North where I've lived for a very long time. And the issues my brother, uh -huh. the issues my brother talks about in the Goretti North uh -huh. Are the same issues we uh, in Madari? In Madari, the same in Dagoretti. Are the same issues we face in Dagoretti? What has happened? This country has been churning out uh, young people. Every graduation, we have about seventy universities. Every graduation, we are graduating two, three thousand um, young people to nowhere. So we have a ho lot of hopeless mass of mm. youth in our constituencies who are not getting proper guidance, who are not getting proper facilitation. As soon as politicians are done with them, after they vote for them, most of them are forgotten and buried. So we don't have genuine champions for the youths in this country. A lot of them are used for sloganeering. You've seen the election violence the other day mm. in Jacaranda. So the youths of this country have to start saying, no, this is not how we want to be engaged. We want to be at the economic table. The youths are usually mostly at the political side of things, where they are used as bodyguards, they are used as drivers, high class. But after the election, they don't transition from the political side of the conversation to the economic side of the conversation. As soon as they win, they now start looking for their old bodies. Uh, nepotism kicks in. And what happens? Across all constituencies in Kenya, the youths are shelved. But, but, but then how, how do you intend to transit them from the political side to the economic side? That's exactly what is in my manifesto. My manifesto is very pregnant heavy. All right. I'll, with, I, I, with, I, I, I'll come back to you as, as uh, in a bit. I'll come back to you. Uh, uh, let me come to you as they check your sound. Um, when you talk about Madari, mm. um, we know very well that... Uh, uh, Madare is an area of uh, great concern because uh, it is uh, within that area that we have the issue of um, economic empowerment. Uh, um, let me be specific. How do you intend to empower the youths economically in Madare? I said this, yeah. that 90% uh, of the residents of Madare, most of the youth, yeah. are in business, small business, sis. Talk of uh, border border, talk of uh, small kiosks, and so forth. These youths, all what they need is uh, to get the finances, mm -hmm. to be able to power their businesses. They need uh, the area needs to be opened up for other investors. Mm. The area needs to be properly lit. How are, we going to, how are we going to open up to, to uh, investment? Because we have we've got the slums that are there. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, and and, uh, uh, and and how do you intend to do that? Because you see, as as you cannot handle one and and and, and leave the other. Because definitely, the these things them. will be done together. Uh. And I begin with the security issue is a, is an issue that we will begin to tackle immediately. I said within that days, we will be tackling the, the issue of the security. Yes, 
You see, with Madare, the, the investors can't go there simply because there is no security. Mm. And uh, we, we've got enough police officers to patrol the area. We will, we will en enhance the police to be able to patrol the area properly. Mm. We will ensure our, our leaderships in terms of our education leaders ensure that our, our, our kids go to school. No one, go, no, no one drops out of school. Mm. If there, there are those border, border guys, they are being supported and they register to those circles. If we register those, those groups into circles, and now empower them, ensure that uh, they, 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 they get the money that, that they need. You see, most of them even don't know whether they, are, they can get money from the bank. Yeah, yeah. You, you mentioned circles earlier on, but I'm, I'm trying to look at the strategy that you're going to use. Indeed, uh, uh, right, okay. I'll, make, I'll ensure that they are registered. That is one. Immediately I get to the office. In 30 days? In 30 days. Once I get, and there are so many groups. It's only that they are not registered. You mm. register them today, tomorrow they, they will be getting their money. Mm -hmm. And again, there is that kid that belongs to the youth. They've not been able to be assessing that kid. Mm -hmm. That one, I'll ensure they get that kid. Okay. The other thing is, we say that uh, you, you, you write up the area, you, you are improving the security. Mm. Once you improve the security, there is the repo effect mm. that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. And the, we, with the ripple effect, you see people, uh, youths that were working for maybe nine hours are able to work uh, till midnight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, you, you attract investors uh, to Madare by improving security. Those, those investors are beginning the, the construction jobs. M those Madara, are direct jobs. Madara has been an area where we've seen um, it been a, uh, be becoming a hotspot when it comes to riots. Indeed. And um, this is an, an issue, especially now that we are in an electionary period. Uh. How do you I, I intend to empower the youth so that that will not be um, a, a, an issue that is in, into happening the future. Yeah, in the future in uh, Madari? Indeed. Uh, uh, in, in all my campaigns, mm. I've been pe preaching peace. Mm. And this, uh, this way, I'm able to to encourage them. I'm giving them hope. I'm promising them uh, once we're in the office, we'll be able to tackle these things. And they are buying to my ideas. I'm okay. very sure mm. if all the other, my uh, political opponents were able to do that, then violence will be a thing of past. Okay, okay. It's only that uh, once uh, an opponent realizes that, that I'm making a marriage, the, 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 then it begins to, to hype up uh, emotions around maybe ethnic crimes, very uh, little, little amount to, to the boys and girls uh, in Madre, and probably they cause violence. You see, they, they don't do this out of will, they do it out of uh, poverty. The poverty levels in Madre is out of this world. Uh, uh, and sure, work. yeah, by working for them and promising, you see. Oh, the, the, I have a problem with the, with the youth uh, in Kenya currently. You see, they've been promised uh, these things before, but the people have not da done the duty. While trying to convince them, to convince them is becoming a challenge where I'm, I'm trying my hard. But I need, uh, I mean, you, we have to, to engage them directly for them to buy into our ideas, which I'm doing on a on daily basis. And I'm, I'm happy that you've given us this, this platform that we are able to address these issues with them. What you're taking in regards to um, leaders who have been accused of perpetrating these riots? Well, the, the, this, uh, uh, there, there are so many bodies that are supposed to handle that. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I believe DCI is in a capacity to handle that. Mm -hmm. We should leave politics to politicians and allow these bodies to do their work as Kenyans. It's we Kenyans that uh, bring these things, uh, or rather make these things worse. By, by, uh, by politicizing these bodies, and once we do this, we are damaging our institutions. It's not good to see our youth uh, getting into, to, into violence. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the issues. All right. Uh, uh, let, 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 me, let me come to Elijah. Um, you earlier on you, you are about to mention your manifesto.
yeah uh, <coughs> short uh, you can proceed with with that um, and then after that after, after you're done with that you can also let us know um your thoughts in regards to what i was asking him uh, youth participating in riot uh ram i was wondering when i'll come into this conversation and i hope <laughs> i hope my microphone is now okay and working correctly i believe so i believe so yes um so the same issues we face in madare mm. are the same issues the youth in the great north are facing yeah so if you look at my manifesto i have mentioned a number of key issues number one we are going to be paying bursaries for a lot of young people to acquire skills in carpentry in mechanics in uh in welding in plumbing in electrical in tailoring and 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 what this will do mm. we will then uplift the economy of the Goreti north because the mechanical shops around are the ones we will utilize as vocational centers to train the existing youths mm. on acquiring skills and attempting to get them off the streets of crime of drugs and alcohol and, and, and you've got the resources to to, to facilitate such kind of of things. course and then we, we 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 we've been to school we can write proposals there's a lot of funding available when you have a credible leader in position of power uh, yeah. we are also engaging with the youths with a view of the great north apparently doesn't have a single stadium, a single sports center, a single resource center. They don't have a room, a studio such as this, where young men and women talented in um, music, in art, in craft, can nurture and polish their talent. Mm. So I'm going to be a champion. We keep talking about youths, not because we're ignoring uh, the women and the, the older folk, but it's because if we don't address the issue of youth, then we will not address the issue of crime. We will not address the issue of alcohol and, 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 uh, and, and drugs abuse. So the youth issue in this country is becoming, uh, it's becoming a tragedy. Mm -hmm. We are no longer talking about Al-Shabaab because that's an external threat. The threat now that we face in Kenya is an internal threat. Mass and mass of youths in Kibera, in Madare, in the Goreti North, educated, talented, yet forgotten. In Dagoreti North, I, I can tell you, Ram, mm -hmm. is the home of talent. We have so many Omanyalas in Dagoreti North. Mm -hmm. We have so many Ronaldinhos in Dagoreti North. But who, who has catered for them? Yes, we've put a lot of money in Expressway. We've put a lot of money in the SGR. But do you know that does not target even 5% of the youths in Kenya? Yes, a few will work there. Mm -hmm. But if that kind of money is put... In innovation hubs across all the wards in this country, in sports centers across all the wards of this country, then we will start seeing better fortunes for this country, Kenya. So, for instance, in the Goreti North, uh -huh. I'm going to be lobbying to have a sports center. You know, I know we have issues with land and all that, but that, out, because yeah, exactly. if we don't get mm. that right, then why are we taking all this talent? But, but, but then how do you intend to empower them economically in terms of uh, job creation yes. uh, and employment? Because that is an issue also still in integrating. Yes, so if I set up vocational centers yeah. where they train to acquire skills, and then, you see, what America does and Europe does, mm -hmm. they make something, polish it, give it a brand name, Mercedes-Benz. Mm -hmm. If you go to Gikomba, we have so many innovations. What the African has not been able to achieve is to finally brand what they have innovated and package it to sell to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a ceiling <coughs> on what we can be able to do and achieve. So I've been around the Goreti North, areas of Kabiro, Gatina, Kawangware. The amount of talent visible, just visible, in, in skills, in, 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 in even acting. Look at Lupita Nyong'o. How many Lupita Nyong'o are hidden in Kawangware? But if Lupita, I feel like if she wasn't uh, well to do, she will still be with us here in Kawangware. Do you know Papa Shirando Lahondi's skills in uh, uh, Gatina area? So I'm saying there is a lot of talent in our constituencies, mm -hmm. especially the Goreti North. What we have not done as a nation is to put money in, in, in areas where these talents can be nurtured, polished, packaged, then 
commercialized. I'm looking at the aspect of security in, 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 in Dagoretti North. Because we've seen, uh, as he was mentioning, you, you, you said youths tend to riot because they, there is a lack somewhere. And, 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 and you mentioned that lack being connected to um, uh, the uh, economic uh, uh, you know, malnutrition that we have Indeed. there. Um, still on you. We've got leaders who have been accused of 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 of, of, of these riots, and I will pick an example of what happened yesterday, because yesterday we had some riots that took place in Jacaranda Estate, and UDA through their secretary, of course, they uh, sent out a letter, and uh, in this letter they want Embakasi East Member of Parliament Babo Wino, uh, uh, who they alleged to to have sponsored the chaos to be uh, disqualified from contesting as the leader. Of course, this is still, still an allegation. Now, what are your thoughts in regards to such kind of, 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 of conversations that go around, especially at a time like this, when we are going towards an election? In fact, in the words of Martin Luther King Jr., violence begets violence. A tooth for a tooth leaves us all toothless. An eye for an eye leaves us all blind. I think it's time the youths totally reject in total the, the issue of violence. Because who gains when they, they are violent? It's not the youths. It's their masters. And who loses? It's, it's the youths. Youth. Mm. If there's some... I saw one with a bloody... You saw it's a young man. Yeah. With a blood. So, mm -hmm. they are the perpetrators. They are the victims. They are the losers. We gain nothing from that conversation. Mm. And I feel in Dagoretti North, everywhere I go, mm. I preach peace because those who've been in power for too long, they know when the youths come down, unite and start addressing their agendas, those that are in power will be in trouble. So what they do, they keep funding this cycle, vicious cycle of violence, such that we don't come down for a minute to say, hey, wait a minute, we've been violent all these years. What have we benefited from it? You know, because the world they, war one, they world like, war yes, we've been violent, they've lacked. World War One and World War Two was about bronze, mm. but the generation now is about the brains. We need to start engaging less the fists and more our brains because no one ever got rich by punching so many people, apart from Tyson and Evander Holyfield. <laughs> so that's a different <laughs> conversation. So if, um. if, if we choose then to use our minds and our brains we will have better fortunes than what we are doing currently. So mm -hmm. the Goretti North is going to be a peaceful constituency in my leadership. Mm -hmm. We commit to that today, tomorrow, yesterday. What we want to be engaged in is how do we get innovation hubs in the Goretti North? How do we turn these mass youths into skilled commercial entities that can then be dignified in earning an income. Let, let, let me come to you uh, to have uh, a final word in regards to that particular issue here uh, mm. <coughs> on, on, on security. On, 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 on the on, riots, sorry, yes. On riots. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would uh, repeat the same uh, uh, statement that he, he's making. Mm. Violet, uh, violence begets violence. It's uh, important for our youth to refuse to be drawn into this kind of political shenaniganism. And uh, with Madale, that's where I suppose this problem originates. Because most of our youths are, are not uh, employed, do not have uh, any form of livelihood, and as such, they, they, they can be used, and they, they, they have been used previously. All right. And of course, I, I love the fact that uh, in Madare also, just like Dagoretti, mm. we've got lots of talent there. A lot and, of them. Uh, in fact, Madare may be more than, uh, than Dagoretti. That, that, <laughs> that, uh, that we might need to <laughs> check to, to check. Uh, no, I, I could have sue to, you for, being, uh, <laughs> for lack of facts. No, I think maybe. <laughs> I, I think from here I'm taking him for a walk in Dagoretti. No. <laughs> that is the home of football. That <laughs> is of the home of music. That is the home of art. Uh. Dagoretti is the home of craft. Mm -hmm. The home of... I have a young man who's made me four pairs of shoes. Amazing. Mm. I'm already wondering how to package and export that. I should have worn one pair here. Hey. I, I mean, I feel I've let him down. 
You should come with me, my brother. Definitely. You will go to school like for this, a minute. You have a, a pair of shoes. <laughs> four. Yes. Four pairs. Yes. Leather. My goodness. Pure leather. Okay. So I'm, I've already put them. By the way, for no. me, empowerment, I've been doing it. So I have a team of young people who do leather work. I have a team of young people who do art. I have a team of carpenters. I have a team of welders. I have a team of guys who make hoodies from scratch. So we import a roll of, uh, you know, cotton, mm. and they stitch. From scratch. From scratch. So wow. maybe next interview should be on location, mm. Ram. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we need to do that. And, and of course, I'd like to compare my brother and Dagoretti, which one has more talent than the other. Uh, <laughs> I know where you'll spend more believe. time. I will <laughs> tell you here. Because that sounds you like see, a mother, branding. is a very tiny constituency. Uh, constituency. Yeah. Very tiny, Malare. with a very big population, mm. and uh, going around uh, walking, it, you can even do it within uh, maybe three, four hours. That is walking around Madari. I, I want us to talk. One, <laughs> I, I want us to talk on one one issue that is very, very important, especially in in our country, because it affects everything across the board. Corruption. Corruption. And 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 you know, at the end of the day, um, even in our constituencies. Our youths are affected by corruption, Indeed. and 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 we may not be able to do much, but we can do something. Um, how, how? What do you think we, we need to do uh, as a country, and of course, even as an individual, when it comes to fighting this aspect of corruption because it is killing our youths? Unfortunately, Ram, corruption is endemic in this country. From a very young young age, our teachers still chokes, as the principal still fuel money for the school bus. As the DO steal funds, as the uh, as the county commissioner steal this, as the CS steals this, as everybody, as the police, so we we lack a value system as a country, and we must start admitting that corruption permeates every fiber of our being. The yeah. preachers, even churches, are corrupt in Kenya. You know, bishops sell fake miracles. I don't know any agency in Kenya that is corruption free. Look at our national exams. They leak every now and then. There is a problem where everybody in Kenya seems to be corruption compliant. A cop stops you and immediately you're thinking how much you want to offer him. I was in the UK for seven years. Never once did I see a police officer take a bribe. Never once. I waited for it and I waited for it. So this country until and unless we accept that corruption has permeated every fiber. The young children, look at them play nowadays. They even, they, they, they infuse corruption into their play, you know. Mm, mm. Even when they are trying to play a football match, they will try to win over the other team cor uh, corruptly. So we need more than prayers when it comes to corruption. We, we need, need to prayers. look at this thing mm. with a new pair of eyes. And for me, the issue is the value system that we've inculcated from a very early age. We make stealing exams, okay? Even teachers supervise how they will help the kids steal exams. So what happens to those kids when they grow up to be doctors? They leave Kenyatta Hospital and go to a private clinic. What happens to a police officer who saw the teacher help them steal exams? He doesn't bother. And what happens eventually? Money meant for cancer goes to politicians' pockets. Money meant for ARVs goes to politicians' pockets. So we lack a conscious as a nation. And that is why nothing else seems to move. Because 90% of every other budget almost is factored towards corruption. Let me come to you. Um, what are your thoughts in regards to the value uh, and, and, ethic, and ethics that uh, we've got? Because at the end of the day, every leader that comes to campaign Talks about good values. They say, I'm good. I will bring this. I'll bring this. But, but after a period of time, we hear the same person that was campaigning being um, accused of being corrupt. Let me say this. To begin with, it all boils to leadership. The leadership should start from the top. You see, when the president stands uh, on a podium and tells her that he can't do anything about corruption, then... Definitely, he is admitting that he is unable to do the job that we've given, we've given him to do. So I'm assuming that uh, our leadership should be serious. We should elect a serious leadership into the office.
to ensure, at least for, for a start, we get leaders that are, are able to address corruption. You see, we pretend to, to borrow heavy from the West when it comes to these other issues. But when it comes to the way they handle their corruption, then it becomes a t totally different borrow game. You look like uh, a, a country like China. What do they do to their lives? They shoot them to death. You go to the US, the death penalty is still there. But when it comes to Kenya, we you, can't kill our You've seen what Jacoya's manifesto is saying he will, uh, <laughs> he will hang them. Roots party. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> on that one we can share with Wajakoya. <laughs> but when uh, uh, those other issues, may, maybe we may not share uh, the, the, the same. But if we had a leadership. If Wajakoya knew how much of a problem we'd have with drugs, he will go slow on that bang issue. And to, to, to sell on dealing with bang the, to our young people <laughs> when it's the one that has in, them in trenches. Can mm. he come to Magedondia and I'll show him young people strewn all over from drugs and alcohol abuse. But, 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 but on, on, on corruption, on corruption issue, how you agree with him? Right? Not to shoot and hang people. And uh, I disagree with you a bit. Mm. Corruption will not end from the leadership. Mm. The voter is corrupt, so we get a corrupt leader. But, 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 but where do, but we, but where do, where do you root? The root is down here. You can never go up to solve. If the tree, the roots are rotten, mm. the top will be forever. So the, the, the aspect of everything begins it is and ends leadership. the voter to start listening. Give him a chance. Mm. He's young, fresh. The other one who's been there maybe is using money. So what happens? If the voter is corrupt, he'll keep getting that bad leader. So if we expect the leaders to change, Yet we are voting them in corruptly. How is that possible, Ram? What if they were, they were to elect all, all, all the leadership, good, good leadership? That's what right I'm saying. The, 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 the problem is with the voter. Yeah, that's the, the, the issue. Yeah, mm. so we agree there. If the <laughs> voter doesn't change, the, the voter is the then failure. the top, the leaves, will never change. If your mm. roots are weak, the leaves will be forever weak. So we cannot change science but and nature. Even with so that, we, we are not supposed to hate the, the roots of a tree because we end up hating the tree. Well, the roots bring forth to the tree. Yes. Therefore, so, and, and, and even biblically speaking, <laughs> if a tree doesn't bear fruits, the whole of it is true. You it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we start from the, from the voter. From the voter. But even with that, the voter must be educated on the need to have a, a good leadership, the need the voter must be taken uh, through that journey to ensure he or she gets the, the right people. Because right now, you go to a direct northern barot, you find uh, like 20 candidates. That kind of uh, getting to them is the, the issue. We need to go to the grassroots, talk to the voter, convince him. Oh, huh? well, See to it that we get the, the right leadership. Um, gentlemen, um, I want us to bring this conversation to a close. I'm told time is not on our side. And I want to give you time to have a final word. Thank you so much for um, uh, airing your, op your thoughts to the, to the different issues. But what will be your parting shot? And uh, I would like you to talk to the, to the Kenyan youth that is watching you today. Let me start with you. And of course, um, I believe that is your camera. Okay. If I'm not wrong. Send your, send your, uh, yeah, that is your camera. Okay, good morning once more to the youth of this country. I plead with you. This is another time that, that is your we yes. are here mm. to plead with you. Vote for, the, for a good candidate. Vote mm. uh, for a free corruption-free candidate. Vote for that leader who will ensure things are done. For mother youth, I'm pleading with you. Walk with me. Vote for me. Let's ensure that our resources are protected. And when you do this, we will have a better mother. All right. Thanks. Thanks so much. Let me come to you. Uh, that camera is yours. Uh, thank you, Ram, for hosting me this morning. And mm -hmm. thank you to the Y254 Imagine team. Uh, very proud of the team here. I can see a lot of youthful people in this station, I'm, and I'm very proud of what KBC is doing. Mm -hmm. uh, for Dagoretti North and the rest of the country, since 1963, we've had so many false starts. We've kept hope waiting at the bay. 
it is time now as a nation to relook at how we've engaged in the past. Since 1963, corruption is endemic. Schools and the curriculum need to be relooked at. Health centers, uh, this is the only country where I have seen such uh, enormous cost for health. Someone goes to the hospital, even Kenyatta Hospital, a week or two and the bill is three million. I don't know anyone in Kenya who's not in a WhatsApp group, Kuchangia Matanga na Kuchangia Hospitali. This has to stop. We are an extremely wealthy country, but we've only worked to benefit the top 1%. It is time Kenya works for all. And in Dagoretti North, I intend to first and foremost educate the young masses that they have power in their minds and they have power in their vote. If you choose to vote the right leaders from Madare to Dagoretti North, to Kibira, to Lamu, to Lokichogyo, to Lodwa, then what begins to happen, the quality of conversations in parliament will begin to change. We'll begin to address the issue of high cost of living. We'll begin to address the issue of mass unemployment. We'll begin to address the issue of health. We'll begin to address the issues of corruption in a way that is different from yesterday. So I plead with you because you are the masses. Kenya has about 70% youths, but when you transition to parliament, it is only 6.5%. That is a tragedy again. How can we be the majority, yet we produce the least number of parliamentarians? And also, don't just look at the youth. Look at the quality of youth. There are those youths we uh, uh, propel to positions of power, and all they sell back to us is violence and more violence. Let us, as a country, as a nation, as a young generation, right. fight for our future. God yeah. bless you. God bless you, and I seek your vote in the Goretti North because I want to be your leader to champion your rights. Thank you very much, Ram. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. I wish you guys the best. Keep doing what you're doing. And of course, uh, to the Kenyan youth watching today, you do your part and do it well. Because at the end of the day, the future of this country and the future of where you stay lies in the kind of vote you will cast. I believe so, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. That's Asante very sana. true. Asante sana. Thank you so much. Asante. I wish you guys the best. And of course, keep talking to us. That's like as always is why in the morning at Ram Aguko and at Y254 Channel. This has been Youth and Politics. We are taking a short break. We'll be back with much more in a bit. Thank you.